Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to start the reading off with a bibliomancy message from this book I bought called Love and Other Realms, and then I'm going to get on to the oracle card reading. Okay, so for the Leos that are watching this, what is your message? What is your message? From the moment that you and I were born onto this earth, our contracts were created, stating destined to meet by law to love, signed God. Let's do one more. Oh, wait, not that one. If it is hell that I must fight to keep you here, then tell the demons to armor up, because as far as I am concerned, it would take far less energy to fight for you than it would to let you go. I'll do one more. The truth is, we wouldn't fear living a life lost had we another hand to hold, one that we could count on to never let ours go. Now I'm going to get into the oracle reading. So the last reading I did, I was getting that there was a third party energy here. Um, it looks like someone's finally dropped the karmic. That could be you. That could be them. But someone is moving away from a karmic situation. They're, they're wrapping up karmic cycles. They're, they're deciding that they've had enough. Um, the drama isn't over just quite yet, though. From what I channeled in the last reading, but let's see where we're at right now. Stagnation, complacency, dreams, visions, telepathy, confusion, and uncertainty. Shyness, fear of rejection. I'm not actually sure if this is the same person or not. I mean, you, it's your story for those of you that are following me. So I don't know if this is the same person that I channeled last a couple weeks ago, though. I mean, it's like it's the same energy group of Leos, but this might be a different one of your exes. I'm getting a hidden truth might have been revealed on a full moon or it might be, be it might be revealed the next full moon or like maybe within that time frame, within a month. Um, there's some kind of hidden truth, some kind of secret that's coming to the surface. I don't know why for some reason I'm just feeling like this is like a different ex of yours. Like you might have more than one love option. Um, for some of you, this is the uh, the situation where you're, where you're in a third party situation and there's a karmic that your person's dealing with and they're, they're trying to wrap it up but the karmic kind of has their claws in them. They're causing a lot of drama, maybe holding something over them to try to keep them. But it looks like it's being, if that's your story, it looks like that is being sorted out. Like they, they have been trapped but some kind of hidden truth is going to come to the surface. It might also be that if the karmic is, is holding something against them and saying, like, I'm going to spread rumors about you or I'm going to cause drama for you, like, at the moment, they're trying to avoid that. Like, they're trying to just appease the karmic and make them happy, and they're trying to figure things out, and they're kind of confused because they want their freedom, but at the same time, they don't want the drama. But it looks like towards... um closer to the end of the month if that's if that's your story then it looks like they're just going to say screw it and they're going to say you know what go ahead like the karmic's going to be blackmailing them saying you know i'm going to tell like that's what's been happening you know I, I got that energy a couple weeks ago too and it's it's kind of a continued story here um so i just channel whatever the current energy is you know and sometimes the story is is very similar you know it, but I, I channel these to see what improvements have been made you know what's it's a journey it's a process but um but anyway yeah for some of them, they're still in that energy where they're they're trying to get away, but there's still some drama. But it, it seems like the karmic might have something on them, and I'm getting the energy that they're going to find some kind of solution towards, um, like, within the next full moon cycle. Or they're just going to say, screw it. They're going to be like, you know what? You go ahead and tell my family that I cheated on you, or you go ahead and tell my family or tell our kids that I did this or that, like go ahead. Like, you're not going to keep me. Like, they're just so sick of the karmic trying to tie them down that they're just going to say, 
they're going to shock the karmic. The karmic's a control freak, and they're going to think that they are, they're a few steps ahead of your person, and your person is going to shock them and just be like, go ahead, do it, do it. I don't care anymore. I just want to be free of you. You go ahead and do what you want to do. It might also be, I kind of feel like this sense of like relief and clarity, like a new... Um, cycle like wrapping up a karmic cycle and, and starting a new cycle for them just in their own personal lives later this month so let me um adjust this for you guys sorry so i feel like that cycle could be that they um have like an epiphany or they, they get some sort of outside help is what I'm seeing. So their family might be like, you know what, just leave, leave this person. And we'll, we'll, you know, like maybe clearing up drama with their family ahead of time. Like, Hey, you know, the karmic's going to like, I like come and clean themselves. Like, Hey, you know, the karmic's going to cause drama. They're going to, they're going to, um, try to, you know, send you these screenshots and I just want to come to you before they do and let you know, like, I did do this. I'm sorry for it. Like, they're making amends. They're making things right. Or it could be a situation like a custody battle where right now they're they're doing what the karmic wants because they don't want to lose their kids. But maybe behind the scenes, like, when the karmic's at work or something, they go out and they try to find a lawyer and they try to, you know, call around and talk to people and get some legal help. And maybe they're going to find the right lawyer and they're going to, and that's when they're going to be like, screw you. Like I'm taking you to court. Like, it just seems like there's the energy I get is that they're trying to figure something out right now because the karmic has something on them. But I feel like towards the end of the month, for most of you, it fe feels like it's going to get wrapped up. Like it's going to, like something's going to shift so that they have a solution so that they don't have to be stuck in that energy or they're just not going to care anymore. It could just be that they're just like so sick of the karmic that they're like, fine, spread the rumors. I'll deal with it. I just don't want to be with you anymore. Like, I just want to be free of this. Um, and if you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. So if this is your story and you want me to look more in depth into it, just send me an email. Um, any donations are appreciated. My donation links are below and please subscribe if it resonates. So yeah, stagnation, complacency feels like their dreams, visions, telepathy are, are coming through. Like you're helping them through this energy. Like you can feel this. You can kind of feel that you guys are getting through this together, even if you're not physically with them right now. Um, there is some confusion and uncertainty because some of them are kind of afraid that maybe you've rejected them. But I feel like whatever is, was trapping them, like some kind of hidden truth is going to come out and it's going to free them up to be able to make this love offer towards you. For others of you, I think this is actually a new person. I think that this is, or an old person, like another ex, but not the not the one that I channeled a couple weeks ago. So there's two different stories here. So for some of you, I think almost that you've been stagnant or complacent or maybe your person has as well and you guys have been mirroring each other and, you know, dreams, visions, telepathy, you know, you're going to have this psychic energy come through. And at first it's going to be kind of confusing and there's going to be either you're afraid of rejection or they're afraid of rejection or both. Maybe you guys are feeding on each other's fears. Maybe like you don't know how they feel. They don't know how you feel. It could be a while since you guys have talked. But I almost feel like there's something that's been the energy I get overall is like there's some kind of energy that's been keeping them trapped and blocked and tied up. And this hidden truth is going to come forward. Like something's just going to come to the surface, like maybe you're, they're just you're going to get some kind of epiphany or clarity. It could even be like an accident. Like you just find out how they feel about you without them intending for you to. But it's something, and it could be that you're trapped and blocked up and something is about to come to light that's going to free your energy. But I just see a lot of energy shifts for this, this group of Leos um, within the next month, throughout the month of May. And it feels like all these changes, these, these um, you know, ascension, these life shifts that you're going through, all this chaos, it's going to lead to a love offer from someone. Yeah, because you've been manifesting this ma magic ma intention manifestation power. Like you've been manifesting this, so it's it's coming, you know, it's coming in within. It feels like it's coming in for you guys very soon. 
clubs, party, social life could be someone that you're going to meet or that you have met at a club or some kind of social event like a festival. Um, submissive, weak willed, dominant, domination control. I see this being a very, um, like, look, this is like a very sexual energy to me. Look at this, all these three cards together, like clubs, parties, or this could be letting you know, okay, so for some of you, this is a new person coming in and it's like saying that they've been, you've been manifesting them, but they had some stuff that they needed to clear up before they could come forward. And now they're clearing that energy up. So you're about, they're about to come forward in the physical because they've cleared this energy up. For others, um, this could just be letting you know, like, this, this old person, like maybe this is clarification for who this is to you. Like, cause maybe it's someone that you used to go to clubs with or bars or like you met at like a social event, like some kind of festival or through friends, like a house party, something of that nature. Um, or you're going to be going to those places with them. Like it's going to be kind of a fun relationship. I see a very sexual energy here though. Look, submissive, weak will, domination control. So it seems like someone's submissive and someone's kind of dominant, but in like a in a good way, it's like maybe some of you are going to be exploring sexually with this person. Some of you haven't been very open sexually. Like you've been curious, you've been slightly open, but you haven't been like, like there's certain things you haven't experienced and you're going to be experiencing them with this person because you're going to trust them. And they're either they're a set, they're either they're submissive or they're dominant, but they're going to do it like the right way. Like they're going to, I'm guessing they're probably dominant for most of you but they're going to be like a healthy dominant energy. They're not going to be toxic. So they're going to give you this safe space to kind of explore, um, you know, things you might be curious about, or this could be, you know, like I said, this could be someone that you've already done this with that you've, you had that kind of like very sexual relationship with that, you know, had some stuff to figure out and now they're wanting to come back around love offer commitment. Okay. So any final messages about this group? So yeah, just, just keep, um, I mean, keep opening yourself up, keep putting yourself out there, keep, um, you know, manifesting like your, your manifestations are working for some of you. You're not seeing it in the physical yet, but I think it's just because like, I think some of you have been trying to manifest this person and this could be a new person you're trying to manifest or an old person that you've been trying to manifest back. And you've been kind of like, what the hell? Like I've been doing the manifestations for months. Like, where are they? Like, am I, are my like, is my spell work even legit if you're doing spell work or like is my vision board even does it even work like what's wrong with me you know are my prayers even being heard and I think it's it's not you it's like you're ready for love like you're in that energy where you're good like you've gotten yourself to this place where you're powerful you're you're good you're set it's your person though like your person whoever this is they were trapped in some kind of karmic cycle you know, could be with someone that you didn't know about. It could just be a karmic cycle in general, like wrapping things up with family, friends. Like they, it wasn't you, it was them. It was their own fears and their own insecurities as well. Like I see like that with the shyness card, like there is a fear of getting rejected and a fear of the unknown. Um, but like, I mean, it, like I said, it wasn't you, like your manifestations are working, but the other person just had not caught up to you yet. You know, like when you manifest love, it's like, that's great if you're ready and the universe can bring you someone that's ready. That's, you know, on the same page. But if you're trying to manifest a specific person, then it's, it's not just on your timing. It's also on theirs. You know what I mean? Like they might, you might be totally ready. You might, uh, you know, you, you've outgrown them. Like, I mean, you haven't outgrown them. I mean, you've outgrown them in the sense that you're, um, you've ascended a lot faster than they have. Like they're struggling to, to run and catch up to you right now. Like you're, you're on a different level than them, if that makes sense. So they had a lot of things that were keeping them trapped and blocked and tied up. And now they're, that karmic cycle is ending. They're freeing themselves from something. They're taking their power back from a situation. Could be a part, like a love interest, like a partner could be, um, family, toxic family, toxic friends, toxic ways of thinking, just kind of like devil energy here. And it's like, they're freeing themselves for it. There's this hidden truth that's coming out where they're, um, they've got integrity. They're taking their power back. They're saying, you know, whatever this energy is, they're kind of just saying, screw you. I'm going to, I'm, I'm good. Like I'm going to set myself free. You know what? Like go ahead and spread rumors, go ahead and do this. Like they're, they've been letting themselves be controlled and they're finally taking the control back. And they're saying, no, like, you're not going to do this to me anymore. I'm going to free myself. And that's going to open this love up for you guys, you know? So, so, so yeah, you know, keep, keep, you know, keep believing in yourself, whatever you've been trying to manifest in your life. And if it's not this person, the universe will bring you someone else because, you know, you have been manifesting love. You've been in that energy of manifesting love. So I think you really want this part for some of you. It's like, there might be a specific person. So 
the universe is trying to, you know, push them towards you, trying to get them. But if that if that person didn't come, you know, if in two weeks we got something else, like there's you would still have love like you would still have love coming in because you've been manifesting that you know what I mean like a lot of times um you know our spirit guides will try to manifest the person that we want if they're healthy for us if it's like a potential life partner then yeah they'll try to manifest it but the person has free will too so they can always go down a different path and if that's the case then the universe is going to bring you someone else that's a potential life partner if that makes sense but I mean, I feel good overall about this. I don't, I don't get the sense. I mean, things change, but I'm not getting the sense that they're pulling away or anything. I'm getting the sense that they really are wrapping these cycles up finally. And they really are, um, you know, wanting to move forward with you. They are, they are freeing their energy up. So it's a really beautiful reading overall. Uh, like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below. Thank you for watching.